Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Fog of War in front of us. Uh, this one's called Dot to Dot by Blobs. Um, don't have much of an intro, let's just get into the rules. Because there's, there's not a ton of rules to work with either, so it's going to be a nice uh, quick intro on this guy. So, uh, normal Sudoku, every row, column, and 3x3 three three box will contain the digits 1 through 9 ones each. White dots separate consecutive digits, black dots separate digits where one is double the other. Not all such dots are shown. Normal Kropke. So these guys are going to be consecutive because there's a white dot between them. These two will be in a 2 to 1 ratio or one of them is double the other because of the black crop key. And then placing correct digits will clear the fog from surrounding cells, possibly revealing more clues. This sounds like it's normal fog. So if we were to figure out what this digit is, all this fog would clear. And hopefully you get more clues to help you move forward. And that's it. So that's all I'm going to say. With that said, links in the description below. Let's get at it. Um, there's going to be a a grouping here that we're going to obviously be able to figure out how to get this working out. The question is, what is it? Um, we can kind of limit what it can be, can't we? Let's think about that. Because once we, we can't get up into any of the high groupings, because we have these black dots flanking, so none of these can be from 5, 7, or 9. So we can't ever get into um, anything above five because we don't have a string of three digits between any of those that can work. So it's from one, two, three, four. This obviously can't be one or four. Now, that forces... Well, if this is a two, this can't be a one because we'd have to put a one here, so it would have to go to four. And if it's a three, it has to go to six. What are you guys? You're going to be the... Oh, this can't be ones. Sorry, that's the easy way to look at it. That will give us some digits. Yeah, because if this if these are ones, these are both twos. Same for both sides. So now we have a two, three, four, so the middle digit will be the three. So these are not threes. This is six. And we've got more information to work with. Let's think about these two fours, though, first. We've got a one and an eight that will go with them. Uh, because the 2 has to go with the 1, because it can't go with the 4, because the 4 is already used. The 4 can't can't go with the 2, because the 2 is already used, so 1, 8 are the possibilities. Let's go up here and think about this guy. Now, this is kind of the inverse of 3 white crockies to 3 black crockies. Now, the only way we can make 3 black crockies work in a series like this is 1, 2, 4, 8. We can't, of course, use the 5, 7, 9. And we can't use the 3, 6 grouping. This is never the um, extreme digit. So, these can't be 1s again, because these would be 2s. Let's get rid of those. So we have a 2, 4, 8, which means this is the 4. These are not 4s. Good. Now, one of these is going to have to go down to a 1 because we can't go up to the 3. The other one is from 7 or 9. That pushes a 5 and an 8 down here. I don't know if that's in any real way useful. What about you? Can't do 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. So we have to have 6. Well, it just has to be oh, 5, 6, 7. Because again, we can't do 7, 8, or 8, 9. So one of these is 6, which means this is the 6. Okay, cool. No, didn't mean to do that. Um, that 6 didn't really say much. Okay, so now we have some more dots to work with. Good. So let's think about you, because you can't be from 3, 6, and you can't have a 4 on it. You are a 1, 2 pair. This 2 here says this is the 1 and the 2. More dots. Um, I guess this guy's not as restricted, and this guy isn't restricted at all. The only thing we can really say about this is that it's not a 1-2 pair, but it could be 2-4. Oh, no, it can't be 2-4, because we can't put the 2 here because these, and we can't put a 4 because of that. So, it's either 3-6 or 4, and it can't be 4-8. Wow, that is... That's much more restricting than I thought it would be just by looking at here, but it, it makes complete sense when I think about these 1, 2, 4, and 8 are all used. 
Gotta use your brain sometimes. It ain't working for me every day. This one's a three, this one's a six. This becomes from two, four, eight, and it has to have a four on it because it can't use one, three, or six. That's now probably going to put pressure on you because it can't be... Well, there's some restrictions, yeah. So it is also from the two, four, eight. And that pushes this to be one, four, eight, because it can't be two. Now, I don't know how much that's going to work for us. This can't be a two, so that's a good reduction. And we have the four years. This is eight. Good. There's four. Good. These are working. We just have to get our brain to process things quickly. Um, what are these three? We've got five, seven, and nine. That would make sense with all the black Kropke action going on. Um, this is not five, but that's all we know at the moment. Let's look at you. There must be something we can get into here, or we can start to think about these two and then how it interacts here. So, not one, two, three, or four. Could be five, seven, eight, nine. Can this ever be all of these options? Because if this was a five, let's say, it has to go to four, three. That's fine. If it's nine, it has to be eight, seven. That's fine. Okay. That didn't do anywhere near what I thought it would. What about, well, I'm going to mark these up, but they're not going to do much either, I don't think. Uh, they are five, six, seven, and nine. Oh, the eight. Here we go. Sorry. Gets the one and the eight. That pushes the two and the four. That gives us the eight and the two. Okay, this is doing more for us now. We can start whittling away at these guys. Um, this is five, seven, or nine. That eight means that this no longer can be eight, so this can't be a nine. This can't be an eight, because it had to go seven, six. And it can't be a seven, because it had to be six or eight. It can't be either. This is five. And it has to go down for three. The, this is then seven. These are not. Um, this is not five or seven, so it's an eight or nine, which means this is an eight or nine. This is not five. Okay, um, do we want to look up here next, I guess? Because we know they can't, okay, yes. We can't be um, from the three, six, because we have a three. So they must be from the one, two, four, eight groupings. And it has to be one, two, and four, eight. We obviously can't put a two, four, because then we break these. But if we think about that, one, two, four, eight, well, this can't be four, eight. So this is the one, two. This is the four, eight. That pushes nine, eight. We can get rid of our 8 marking there. Have we... Doesn't look like we've correlated back to some... Oh yeah, we have 4 here. It says 8 and 4. Got to keep looking back to make sure we're not missing any some of these uh, pencil markings that we did previously. Uh, what are these three digits? Because then we might be able to work off of you. We've got 5, 6, and 7. Anything there? Not necessarily. Um, if this is a five, this is a six. If it's a six, it's a seven. And if it's a seven, it could be six or eight. Oop, six or eight. So not very useful at the moment. We just have to work out some of these other guys first. So which one of these do we want to think about? Or do we have any kind of Sudoku we can think about? One, six, seven. This is not six. Um, don't think that does anything for us. Okay. It was worth a, a try to take a check on that one, see if we get anything. But um, can we do anything with this guy? Can't be one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, or six, seven. Seven, eight, nine. This is not seven. This is not eight. This is always 8, is what that's going to say, because it has to pair with either the 7 or the 9, and the 8 is the only one that does both. Because we can't put 9 here to pair with 7, so that's 8. Therefore, this is not 8. Um, I don't 
don't think that did anything further really there, but it does push an eight into one of these two. Okay, maybe you are next. Again, it can't be one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. It could be five, six, seven. Obviously, it can't go to the eight. So there's always a six here. Which, uh, I thought I saw a six over there for some reason. I didn't. Okay. Do we have anything else? Or do we really need to jump into some Sudoku looking? I think we'll do that. F yeah, the one gives us the two and the one. Gives us another clue we can work with. Let's stick with our Sudoku. See if we can get anything else cleared out for us before we move on. One of these is a two. Because it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to do these pencil marks. Because we're going to need to do the... Uh, the work on them later anyway. One of these is a two. It just gets it out of the way now. What about them threes? Nothing really there, I don't think. Got a lot of fours. So this, okay, this is a two-four pair, which forces the one. Let's get rid of that. See, we get some information. These become ones here. Uh, let's go back into it. Look at those fours for another minute. See if we get anything out of them. Or we can place a three here. That's a given digit I just noticed. Mm, no, okay. Let's go back into our Sudoku real quick. And see what we can see, if anything. I don't think we're getting too much more, but the eights might be useful. Mm, one of these being an eight. That seems like it's really the only use. We're going to have to go into this guy, I think, so let's do it. Ooh. Can't be one, two, three, four, or four, five. So we're looking again at five, six, seven, eight, or nine. That is five, six, seven, eight. That's a heck of a quintuple there. Um, that forces these to be two, three, and four, which removes this as being an eight and puts an eight here. That is... <laughs> I don't think I've ever really seen um, a quintuple like that where it seems like that is the intended uh, path there, but I might be wrong. This is given because we have to be able to join these two and the only one that does it is four or five. So none of these are fives. None of you are fives. Okay, we can't put a six on here because it would break this. So it forces one of these to be the eight. The four also says this is two and three, and therefore this is four. Good. What else does this say? Anything? This can't have a six on it. Wait, why did I, I must have hit the wrong button. This can't have the six on it. It could still have the seven. Yeah, okay. I don't, I must have actually pushed the wrong button there. This could still be seven, eight, or eight, nine. All right, so what did that do for us? Just puts X wings on fours. We don't have any more clues, so it looks like Sudoku is where we have to look again. So if we, if we must, we must. Two, get one there. One of those three is not going to do much for us. Um, one of these is a three. I don't know if that's going to get us anywhere. One of these is a three. Not really. Okay. Let's find something else that might work. We still have the X-Wing on four, so that's not helping us any. Five. There it is. That force is five and three. This is not five anymore. This becomes six, seven, eight, or nine, but it can't be eight. Uh, let's go back and look at our fives. We know one of those is a five. We know this is a five. If it's a five, this is a six. This is not six. We're going to get some information on these rows, I believe. Yeah, because this is a one, five pair. This becomes a three, seven, nine. For what it's worth, what are these guys? 
Uh, we need six in one of these two. So this is not six, which means this one is. This is that. Keep pressing the wrong button. This is then a five seven pair. So this is six. It clears out that. This becomes six, and all of our fog is now gone. And we can focus now on just our bits of Sudoku. This has to be four now because it can't be uh, consecutive with that. So that pushes two and four. We'll come back to that clue in a second. Let's just make sure we keep on top. This has to be five, nine. You aren't nine. This is one, seven, or nine. So it can't be the five, which means this is. One of these two is five. That gives us an X-wing, so that pushes seven, five. That now comes down to this uh, white crop and says this is the five because it can't put a seven on anymore. And that's going to solve our one, five grouping. Good. Now, I think we really do have to just go hard into the Sudoku to find these last few. This is two, this is two, this is eight. That force is eight. Um, what else does it do? The six says this is not six, so this is good. What about our ups and downs? This is not seven, so this is a three nine pair. I don't know if that's getting us anywhere. One of these is a one. So those oh here we go back to this guy this is a two one so therefore this is not that forces our seven one that forces the nine seven nine seven nine seven and nine and three and nine and another seven good got a lot on that one then um you well, I guess we still don't know what this is. Oh, we do, because these are a 7, 9 pair, and we have a 9. So 7, 9, and we can finish out these guys. This is 7, this is 6. These are a 1, 3, which isn't quite resolved yet, but once we get up in here, it will be. This is 1. That does give us our 3 and our 1. This is now a given 3, and this is a 9. There we go. You saw the puzzle. Solution is correct. Five. Oh, wow. This must be another one of those puzzles that hasn't been posted for very long, but it was created a very long time ago. So a couple of years here. Um, fun puzzle. Um, pretty um, on the easy side, I would say. And once you get the break in started, everything just kind of rolls with it. But still quite a bit of fun. So I really enjoyed that one. I hope you all did as well. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.